What is up everybody? Video Addict here and I've got Crate Club. Yeah. Today, or tonight, no TV, girls are asleep. I'm gonna try and be a little quiet, we'll see. I'll probably end up waking them up, who knows. Uh, we got Crate Club, I'm super excited. This is the General's box, it's a hefty feeling box. And uh, I've been very impressed with Crate Club. Uh, the last few that we've gotten, even the one that we gave away, that was just a sweet box, man. I've been very, very, very excited about these boxes. So, without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, open up the box. This is what you're gonna see. Oh, 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 hello. Hello, Tops. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tops knife. I'm, gonna, I'm super excited about that. All right, this is the general box. Uh, I'll have all the information in the description below, along with the discount code. Um, okay. Mmm. Okay. Sweet. 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 That's whatever. Interesting. All right. I've actually seen that knife before. I'm super excited to see what we got in here. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump in and see what we got. Did I just say without further ado twice? I feel like I did. I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's see here. First thing in the box, we have refreshingly bold, confidently clean body wipes. All right. Um, Scent-free, antibacterial, all-natural, 100% uh, biodegradable, odor neutralizer, Upwind approved, contains aloe and alcohol free. One large body wipe, 11 by 11 inches per uh, packet. And there are, I don't know how many packs in here. 12 of them, there's 12 packs. So you have 12 body wipes. I like it because sometimes You, you might need them in the woods when you're way away from a bathroom. <laughs> so, I like it. All right, I like that they're all individually packaged. So it's not like you gotta open it up and then pull a wipe out. It's just individually packaged wipes. Good deal. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, next up in the box is from Newstat. It's a hemostatic pad, a four by four, for temporary external use to control bleeding. Apply Neustat directly to the inner surface of the wound, i.e. minor cuts, lacerations, punctures, abrasions, and incisions. So, just a little gauze pad, I like it. Here's a pretty cool little item from First Line Gun Oil Pen. Clip on our CLP oil applicator. So here. Okay, as I'm screwing this, it's forcing the gun oil up through the inner thing. I see the bubble decreasing, so the air is being pushed out. If I kept clicking it, it would push the oil out through here, and then this is a little brush. 
See the little brush head? And then you just brush it on the areas that you need it on your gun or probably work pretty good as a knife oil thing. You could use it on that too. I would think. I could be wrong. I'm not very often wrong. <laughs> we all know that's not true. All right. Next up is quick cord. All right. All right. We have a little safety light stick, some paracord, and our little quick cord holder here. All right. So I've seen this before. What you do is you unravel your paracord, keep it from get all the tangles out, and then here. Take your, take your end, stick it through here. Okay, there's a hole. There's a big hole and there's a little hole to kind of lock it into place, right? It doesn't really lock very, very tight, but you get the gist of it. I don't know how much this thing will hold. Up to 25 feet of paracord, dispensed, tangle free. So you just take it and you just push it down in here. Push, 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 push. This might take a minute. Okay, that sucked because when you take this cap off, these little edges right here are very sharp. So the whole time you're pushing this down in here, your fingers are getting stabbed. So, yeah, I'm just kinda, yeah, I guess there's no real way to kinda hold it to the outside. That would be like a little clip here that you can clip it onto. There's a little, hole there that you can put a carabiner on or something but you do this and then you can just pull your cord out up to 25 feet if you have a little groove here this light stick should snap into that was supposed to stay through those little grooves i might have to take it all out and do it again but this goes through here and then it will velcro the glow stick into that little spot and keep it from popping out. I get it. See, that little spot on the side is this thing that holds the paracord. I don't know how they got that damn thing in there. There's a picture of it. Uh, it should be set up. We're not all rocket science. Just all right, next up is your hero clip, your medium hero clip. All right, so I've seen these where women use these for their bags, but this is meant as a man clip. That's what this is. Don't get it messed up. This is a man clip all medium aspect of it. In case you're curious about the knife, CRKT Slacker. One of my favorite CRKTs. So this is your little clip here. You can ball it all up for transport, whatever. But you can keep it in a bag and then you can undo this and it's got this little rubberized kind of catch here. So you can hang it on the edge of the table here. And a lot of women, they'll hook their bags of their purse, the, the straps of their purse through there, and then they can just hang it on the side of the table. So it just right there. And then your bag would hang here. And that little rubberized catch will keep it from Sliding off is easy. So, yeah, I like it. I would use it to clip onto my hunting bag and then hang it over a tree branch. Probably, that's what I would use it for. 
but uh, you use it as you see fit. All right, next up is from Pod Extreme, the Pod Extreme Jump Starter. Okay, get 30% off with code CRATE, C-R-A-T-E, at cleanfreak.com. Follow us on Instagram, at the Clean Freak. That's the, the wipes. This is the Pod Extreme, power on demand, high performance automotive jump starter and power pack. I love the case. So you have your little jumper cables. You have a USB-C charger, nice. You have a very nice little case. And then you have your Pod X here. Ooh, that's a beefy sucker. That's a thick one. <laughs> that's what she said. 100%. Oh, 9 dollars 99 Digital readout on it. I like that. Should I clip one of my nipples? No, that's not. We have ports here on the side. We have a USB ideal for 12 volt gasoline and diesel trucks. Cars, boats, motorcycles, and motor sport vehicles. Producing over 1,000 cranking amps provided instant start capabilities for any vehicle. The Pod Extreme uses a hard shell polycarbonate housing with industrial grade rubber sides that provide protection from impact um, for your toughest jobs. This power packed automotive jump starter is equipped with two ultra bright LED flashlights, a digital display, and USB QC technology for ultra fast charging. The latest smartphones. Never go anywhere without power again. Charging devices such as iPods, tablets, cell phones, GPS, PVSPs, MP3 players, cameras, and more. It has a built in super bright, energy saving LED flashlight for emergency use. That's the USB C and two USBs. I'm pretty sure one's different because one's blue and the other one's black so i don't know what well, says it right here we have a usb 2a and a qc 3.0 there you go that's actually really bright flashing on sos nice and then just an emergency flashing beacon and I'm down to 96%. Okay, that's, that's weird. Um, but it is fresh out of the box. So here are the features. Pause as you see fit. Sorry, I'm still working on getting everything set up to be able to scan everything and be able to put it like I used to. It's just, it's hard. I'm barely even living in this house. Um, first line pin, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to scan this with your phone, but maybe you can. If not, just go to the at thing and use code first 10 for 10% 10 off at firstlinelimited.com. And then you have Crate Club customers take 30% off your next new stat order. Use code CC30 for 30% off your next order. That's not bad. That could be a lot of money, depending on how much you need to buy. Next up is from Lead Lenser, the ML6 750 lumen lantern. 750 lumens just doesn't sound bright anymore. You know, in a world where I have O-lights that put out 1200 lumens in the little SR3s that I got, S, whatever, baton threes. Well, that's what it is. All right. So with this, we have a Lead Lenser brand battery. 
with a bunch of Chinese writing on it. 18650, 3000 milliamp. To fully close the battery cover, screw the cover all the way in. Go figure. All right. So, huh. so this is just a little holder, a little rubberized thing here, so you would be able to strap it over something if you wanted to, to hang as a lantern. And then, oh, hey. And you can intensify or change it to red, blinking. Red and green blinking on. Okay, and then what if you hit the? Oh, you hit the down, and it just decreases the intensity. You hit the up, and hold it down, and it'll blink whenever you get to the max. Now this little rubberized handle here. We'll just put on red just for fun. You take it off and you have your charging port on one side and then you have a USB to charge your phone or whatever on the other. But like I said, this is kind of like a little rubberized probably to help waterproof those outlets or water resist those elements. And then you just, the thing that's really kind of cool is you have it on and that's pretty bright. But then whenever you turn it off, look, the little bottom ring is glowing. I don't know if you can tell it on the screen, but the little bottom green ring is glowing green. So that's very nice. This feels like glass or like very, very heavy duty plastic. It's very heavy. I like this a lot, actually. What do we got in here? We have a little stand that you can snap this into. A little rubberized stand. So you can snap it into the stand and you can set it up or it has an additional hook on the bottom. I can't get that out. I don't want to mess up anything. Uh... Don't break my tip. Okay. You have another little hook right here on the bottom of this so you can hang it if you know if you need to but like i said you just get like a tabletop lantern very neat i like it and it's pretty bright actually 750 lumens i mean it didn't seem that bright but it is hey don't eat that lead lenser i like it i like it a lot actually all right, and you also have a little case for it, or a sleeve, just a real flimsy thing. Probably want to keep up with that. And then you got a micro USB charging cable to charge it up. I'll put that sucker on charge whenever I get done here. All right, all right. Next up in the box, we have from Fox Edge, the FE520. Fox Edge. Fox Edge is a little bit lower level fox knife it is a fox knives knife but it's their lesser company so it's more uh budget friendly it's a budget version and i can already see why but keep in mind it is a fox knife knife okay it's very gimmicky looking like it's very big and all black and it has a glass breaker on it. Flipper. Ooh. All right. The weight feels a little bit off on it, but you know, you good lock up on it. I wish it was brighter in here. I'd try and show it to you, but uh, the centering is perfect. The glass breaker is garbage. 
And there's your knife, right there. The clip is reversible. You're only gonna get a tip up carry. And if everything is what it is, <coughs> it is very sharp. Um, I'll just cut the card. It's a fox knife. That's just straight push through. So, that's actually really, really nice. I mean, like I said, it feels a little, it's, it's highly uneven. Like, there's a lot of weight in the ass end, obviously. <laughs> it's just, there's just, but yet, whenever you flip it, it feels like that blade's so heavy that it kick. It feels like it's wanting to kick out the bottom on me. If it can actually open up right. But you know what? This would be a good beater knife. Because you know it's a good quality knife and it's just, it's sharp as hell. I mean, it's, it's what it is. So we'll leave it at that. Like, like, like. Alright, and last, but certainly not least, we have an item here from Topps Knives, and I'm super excited about it. I've seen this knife, and I thought about it, and I was like, eh. I didn't really need another small knife because I've got a couple of those uh, little neck knives like Curran likes from Topps. I think I've got two of those actually. We have a Topps Knives Certificate of Authenticity and a little instructions on carrying for the leather button straps for your belt. So this is looks like it was meant to be a lower back carry possibly or you could just strap it on the belt on the side depends on how you want to do it you do you man all right good good lock up on it Ooh. is the Topps Knives Poker. All right, that is a wicked little end there. <laughs> For such a little bitty thing, it feels pretty good in my hand. No jimping on the back, which I find a little odd, but I don't know if this is more of a precision kind of thing, but it could still use some jimping, I would think. So, yeah. It's got G10 scales on it. Uh, you can also use those straps for Molly attachments. That's cool. A Kiridashi style knife. So the handle material is black myocarda. Blade material is 1095 RC 5658. Uh, 2.7 ounces and overall length is 6.88 inches um, Like I said, it feels good here. I wish there was some jimping maybe I really do wish there was some jimping You can carry it like that or you can carry it reverse style Like this if you want to do like a fighting grip with it. I don't know. I really like this knife I remember seeing this on their website thinking yeah, that's kind of different. Isn't something, you know, I'd like to see what that would be like. And now I have one. The case is obviously tight. And the straps are cool. 
like I said, you can attach it to some molly and uh, belt, whatever way you want to carry it. So, very nice. Very nicely done, Crate Club. I am super excited about this box. Uh, again, I think that, that, that they did a really good job. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed in the Fox 9 just because it seems gimmicky. It seems like, in all honesty, whenever you look at it, and even holding it, it feels like something you'd pick up at a truck stop, but it is still a Fox Knives. Uh, the blade is freaking sharp as hell. Uh, let me see what it says about this stuff. Overall length, 8.54 inches. That's a big, that's a big bastard. Uh, 6.7 ounces. Blade material is VG10 steel. That's what I'm talking about. Drop point, flat grind. Blade finish black Cerakote. Handle material is black G10. That's actually different than I thought it was. Um, and stainless steel uh, liner lock. It's just, it, for whatever reason, it just does not feel like a quality item. But like I said, it's sharp as hell and it probably a great knife that you probably wouldn't worry too much about screwing up um the gun oil is really cool new stat i always like first aid stuff this is another thing i'm not really sold on uh 25 feet really isn't that much uh in a pinch though you know whatever but i i don't know if this i definitely don't like loading it uh, but that's neither here nor there uh Way to clean your dirty ass. And a little bag clip to get your stuff off the ground or give to your wife or significant other to hold their purse when y'all go out. You know, though this, if you're a single guy, you know, it'd be kind of cool. If a woman's sitting at the bar and she's just like, she's fiddling with her purse, be like, hey, let me just clip this. Don't do it without her permission. You might get slapped. So be like, can I show you something? And then you just clip this and just hang her bag right there on the thing. Get it out of her way. You never know where you might get by the end of the night. I'm just saying. And of course the Pod Extreme and the Lantern. Guys, this is some good stuff. This is really good. I like the lead lenser and I like the Pod Extreme. I like the Topps knives. I like the butt wipes, whatever you want to wipe with it. Uh, yeah. The gun oil is cool. The new stats kind of like, okay. <coughs> I'm just, I'm not a fan of the cord thing that much or the Fox Edge knife, but I'm way ahead on this box. Uh, it is an expensive box. This is the general, this is their high end, but this is high end gear. So uh, in that respect, I think they did a good idea. I have not checked prices on anything. It's not in the book. So don't beat me up on that. If you guys go find out that it's cheap here or there, I don't know. But uh, from my first impressions of opening it, I am impressed. So for whatever it's worth, take it to where you want to take it. And that's it. That's all I got for you. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't. In the comments below, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff, and subscribe. I'm out.